Hello everyone, back again. I'm gonna like tidy up a little bit. Oh. Um, this is gonna be 3C. We're gonna finish out 3C, totally. That, that means this whole section is gonna be done. The next one is gonna be on precision. But 3C is in, I'm sorry. Three, like I said in the last video, the um, uh, the update, there's going to be 3C1, 3C2, and 3C, um, 3, 3, I mean, 3C3, which closes out everything, is just going to say, um, finished, or, t you know, that one's going to end, complete, okay, so you have 3C1, 3C2, and 3C complete, okay, and then after that is precision, I'm working on precision right now for myself, I mean, so that I'd be able to explain it to you all, but that is a very, very big deal, okay? So we have 3C. I just wanted to do some things that will look a little bit all right. I'm just looking in this video. When you get like white hair or gray hair, it's not as manageable, and I don't think it looks as good as when before it was gray. But anyway, I did a little brushing. I think it looks better. So anyway, the 3C, like I said, 3C1, this is 3C1. We're getting into heavy territory, okay? This is completing a big section. Um, I stated about force. So this is 3C, force, direction, speed force direction speed now each one of these three hooks together because um 3c1 um kind of like concentrates force 3c2 concentrates direction c3 complete or 3c3 which is 3c complete which completes the whole 3c that one concentrates speed. For now, at this level, it's force, direction, and speed. Not equals, like I said, one time. I'm just trying to make it to where you can grasp something that you don't see in the beginning. So 3C1, 3C2, and 3C complete, um, all is force, direction, and speed. Force, direction, and speed are one, okay? They all relate to each other. All of them can, are, I guess I can say congruent, but I don't wanna get into, I don't wanna say something that's kind of vague. Which brings me to a point, our vocabulary. I make the vocabulary, you don't really need, but. The only reason why you need vocabulary is to communicate like the things that I'm communicating to you, okay? Once you, as far as this study is concerned, once you have the vocabulary, you can re relate it to someone else, but as far as you're concerned, like for instance, I don't think force, um, direction, speed, because it's internal, you don't need the vocabulary. You only need it to communicate. So when I, when you, when you understand inside yourself, force, you just relate to it. This, that, this, that. That's very important. When you speak internally, you always say this, that, this, that, this, that, because you can actually, you're utilizing it. And the actual, this is kind of good for linguistics, the actual understanding of it is what it is so you don't really have to worry it's it's not linguistical once you have the meaning of it or once you actually work with it but like but to communicate we have to use vocabulary and can that vocabulary changes with things that no matter if you if you're a lawyer you have different vocabularies one word and look as far as being a um lawyer or one word as far as being a doctor all those things i mean one word can change from different careers when you talk amongst each, your, yourselves 
If you talk, if all doctors are talking, um, they use vocabulary that they can relate to. If all the lawyers are talking together, they use vocabulary that they can relate to. So that pretty much lets you understand about the formation of our vocabulary. And one word I want to use, this is very important. Um, I used it before, it was called premonition. Um, I don't use it in a general term, when, it, but it's very important to say premonition. Um, in Dance Without Music, premonition means when you see something, and you'll see as you go further into the course, when you see something that you understand and you start working on it, you can pretty, you obtain a premonition of what you're able to do or what you're able to, to accomplish. Like right now, I had, I, I have a premonition of what I'm going to teach as far as precision is concerned. And if you go through the other, or the former um, YouTubes, you'll see where I use premonition. I think it's around control when we were talking about control. So, but now we're going to use premonition a little bit more as we go further. So that's why I want you to get an understanding of pre premonition as far as dance and thought music is concerned. Okay, so I, I said that there was another point, but I kept going even though there was another point that I got that I wanted to relate to you while I was speaking, but I didn't interrupt myself, so that's good. Anyway, it should come uh, again to me. Um, so this one is C1, force, direction, speed, but it's going to concentrate or... Um, identify force much better. There's one thing that I want to say as far as force is concerned. Um, this 3C1, it would, as far as, remember when I told you about the needle and thread? I got a thread, I got a thread. It's very important, so that's why I did this lesson like this. I had to get thread. And if you go to the um, update, you'll see why I'm doing this. I got needle and thread um, so that I can do the lesson much better. I didn't open them yet. I wanted to be, you know, like, I wanted to be more freestyle, you know, instead of, um, you know, choppy, okay? Um, what I mean is I like for things to happen is if I'm talking to you in person just like, like now instead of, organizing everything too much, okay? To where you can pretty much miss things because I don't add things. Um, it's better, I mean, it's better if I add things as I as I talk because it gives you hints or it gives you more information. Um, so I spoke about the, um, oh, I know what I wanted to say as far as a point. An apparatus. Um, the force we already talked about the control. The control makes an apparatus. But now we can speak more about the control because we know we're getting into force. Force, the control makes an apparatus. If I, you're gonna see, like if I wanna cut something, okay? Cause I have to cut this thing. As soon as I say I wanna cut it, okay? The control, will make an apparatus. You can look at something and make an apparatus. What I mean by apparatus is remember when I did that thing. Okay, so it is important to, to look at all the you, the other ones. And I did the chain like this, and we went like that. And we're gonna use it in 3C complete for um, speed. That's an apparatus. I, I said when I did the experiment the first time, I said we're not machines, but we can make a machine to do that, then that's a machine. But the control forms an instantaneous apparatus through a lot of practice. It's like when, like we're doing this, like for instance, the Michael Jackson dance, okay? We're still going to do it, but I'm sorry, there's points, these things that you have to know. I mean, I wanted to put dance, and I'll put a little dance in this one because I'm going to do something as far as Janet Jackson to show, 
Janis Jackson is concerned to show you something. But um, you can't, I mean, once you reach another point, we're going to, because the dance is very important, we're going to do um, dance, but it'd be much easier, much freer, more, it would be beautiful. You'll see that. Um, now we're talking about the apparatus. As soon as the control forms an apparatus, and I can't go so much into explanation because it's already in the former one, okay? As soon as I see a scissors, okay, my body, and I'm not saying my body because now we're into something to where we're being, we're going to precision, okay? So I'm not generalizing things. I'm saying that it has, an, we, it sets up an apparatus. And just say I never saw, if I never seen scissors before, okay? And I just said, oh, what does this do? I, I wouldn't even be able to do anything with it. But since we were children, we learned how to work that, to make an apparatus. So it's like riding a bicycle, okay? Which is, you know, pretty much complicated when you first start when you're a kid. But once you know that apparatus, you can pretty much, you pretty much keep that apparatus together to use it with other things that are similar. So what I'm trying to state to you is that the control forms an apparatus, okay? And this is true for this level, 3C, okay? Okay, so I see this, I form an apparatus. See that? I form an apparatus. I'm gonna show you something that Janet Jackson does this, 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 before we, I mean, to clarify the apparatus part. In one of her control videos, it's very important. Believe me, I watch everything. And I already explained about the, the Jacksons as far as Michael Jackson is concerned, Janet Jackson is concerned. It seems like they're just entertainers, but they went through a lot in order to bring out things. Janet Jackson is pretty much did it by not really by chance mostly she didn't like study it i mean like michael jackson michael jackson there's one point in time that he the, their band wasn't doing as well they were always very talented but he came but in order for him to get back on the charts he did a um, dancing machine you should see that i mean he did it on because of that one thing that one dance dancing machine, it took them, it brought them back on the charts. It brought them back to popularity to continue to do music. And if you've seen that dance, you will see that he went into the apparatus of the apparatus which functions by the force, okay? And like I said, the force, the first thing I'm gonna mention I have to say, um, I have to say, uh, how can I say? It? I have to use a term, and like I said, this is for dance without music. I would definitely have to say um, hydrogen, hydrogen X. Let's just call it hydrogen X, okay? As far as when we use the um, the force, okay? For now, we'll call it hydrogen X. Doesn't have anything to do with anything. We're just using that term to state um, the energy or whatever that's expelled when you use force, okay? Hydrogen X, okay? So we'll use that term, okay? Now, I wanna show you this one thing which is gonna lead into um, the thread in the needle and stuff. In Janet Jackson's um, uh, control, okay, I watch everything in increments, okay? She does one part to where it's totally the control, okay? And like I said, a lot of people do it by accident. If you see something that's done so uniquely, when I say by accident, I mean like constantly practicing something until you got it down, but it's not perfect. 
because they still don't know what it is, okay? I'm gonna show you this part that she does. Notice the face, notice, maybe I can do it here. Maybe I can do it here, but I think I'm gonna walk back and then I can do it here too. Um, I'm gonna show you that and I want you to notice the face and I want you to notice how it's done and the fact that nothing else can be done. I can't speak, I can't do anything but this um, apparatus, okay? For this level. Another thing too, if you just do it without um, being aware of it at this stage, then it's not it's not really done. I mean, I can say you can pretty much do like anything, all the dances and stuff. But if you just just doing it, it it's not where were what I'm talking about. I mean, you could have one person doing something with this dance without music, and you can have another person doing it with just the normal way that everybody does it and they're both doing the same thing but it's totally different and you should notice the person with dance without music dance without music you'll see once we get i think we get into precision and we start dancing more you'll see the uniqueness okay so now let me do this this thing that janet jackson does watch it notice how the face goes into is the control the facial expression is actually the control, okay? Because it's doing something constantly. It's not just just doing it, you know what I mean? Okay, here, I'm gonna do it. See, I hope it works. Okay, so it's, it's done like this. It looks pretty far away, but okay. But anyway, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so then she ended up like this on the side so I guess you can do it on the side that you might see it better and not do it on the other one. But she ends it so like this and then I'm gonna do it. Okay. Now, then I, oh, I can pr probably do it like right here and it was like, now I can't, if you notice it, I can't, I'm not, I'm not even able to speak at this level while I'm doing it. It is so intense, but that's to show you how an apparatus, because I want to do that dance part, the apparat, um, the control makes the apparatus. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to thread, thread this needle. Okay. It has, I'm. I already have in my mind of how this apparatus is going to happen. And I have the scissors here, it's the apparatus. It makes the apparatus. The control makes the apparatus and it uses, I'm, not, I'm just gonna say it uses, but maybe I could make it in another term, but this is just for you to understand it. It uses the force. The force can activate itself with the control set up Apparatus. If you've been following this, you can follow what I just said. All of this is apparatus. -y. Okay, so I, I see. Now I see the, the different colors of the threads. Okay. And this is all apparatus. Okay. And I have the different threads. I don't know which one we're going to use. Uh, okay. So I'm putting those down. And then I have um, the needles, okay? Now, I think I told you, know, I know I told you, I have like nearsightedness, it's called um, myopia. It means the, the inner eye is like really large. Mine's is really large. And a lot of times the light, I just want to wear contacts because the light doesn't reach the back of the eye. But it does, but, me knowing that, I'm sorry for hiccuping, um, me knowing that because I've done so much studying like this since I, I told you ever since I was a kid, I mean, I built it up. I never forgot it, how these things work. Um, 
I utilize my nearsightedness. So when I use my phone, I'm actually, I can look real close and focus, or I can use my nearsighted focus to where it does go in the back of the eye without the contact lens, but I have to look real, real close, but it's like magnifying. So it helps me out a lot because I utilize, I've always utilized it since I was a kid. Also, I went through some kind of eye muscle treatments this is an experiment when I was a kid, but that's a long story. Um, Deaconess Hospital in Buffalo, New York. So that helped me out too in saying that, yes, I'm nearsightedness, but I can use it for something. And the only thing I could use this for is because I was always studying. I was always doing, like, reading things, you know. The first thing I read was, like, um, my one of my sisters brought home a shorthand book. And I started utilizing that, the different forms of how a word can, can be written in any kind of way. So what I'm saying is as far as my nearsightedness, I continue, I was able to like, um, I would, you know, like when I didn't have my glasses on, I would still read, not straining my eye, but because I have so nearsightedness, I can look real close and I can focus at that close level. Like I can, there's a focus. It's not just, um, it's not just, not just not seeing. I would utilize my nearsightedness, so to speak. So the reason why I'm telling you that because I'm going to use my nearsightedness to understand what I'm going to, to explain to you what's happening in the eye or what, no, I'm not going to say in the eye. I have to say with the control, because everything that we make, if I start saying I, then it's going to go into like um, optics and then it's going to go into like ophthalmology. Okay, so I'm not, this is a new course that deals with only, I, I don't want to say, like again, I'm not going to say forces. I'm going to come up with something. We're not going to say forces because force is force, direction, speed. And we already like separated everything. So we're going to have to say things for now. Okay. So this is the study of things. It's a, it's a precise, precise study because it's um, something that I've worked on ever since I was, I mean, over four, it's 50 years. I can say over 50 years. I mean, you know, so it's like, um, like for instance, we're talking about force, and I use um, and I use um, atomic. I mean, not atomic. I use um, hydrogen X. We're just gonna call it hydrogen X. Okay, those things are all things that you don't see, but however, you're gonna you, okay that you don't normally see. You can see, but you don't observe or you don't know that you see this. Um, the things that I'm talking to you about, but in actuality, you do see them, but you don't, you subconsciously notice things. Like, uh, when you know, when you, when you're talking to your friends and everything, you notice that you can't remember a lot of things that, what they did or how they say, there's no precise things that you can come across. It's because those are the things that I, I'm relating to you about the things that you don't think about when you're actually talking to a friend or when you're actually you know like in love with somebody or all those things those things that you might just call feelings or whatever but so far we're speaking about those things and we've made them into something so that's going off on a tangent tangent but it was it's kind of interesting <laughs> okay so now we're going to get into this now this is force. Now, we talked about the apparatus. These have, these needles can do all different kinds of things. I got all different, different kinds of needles, which has different kinds of holes. So, I have this one, okay? And this is an apparatus. Remember when I did that thing like this, okay? The control sees it, it feels it, and it makes an apparatus. If you never came across a needle or anything like a needle, you wouldn't even know how to pick it up. Long story, okay. 
So anyway, but it makes an apparatus. This is like the control that's made the apparatus and it's utilizing force. We don't have to use force. The only reason why I say force is because I've trained my force. I'm in precision now. If I'm in precision, there's no way in the world you can do precision without understanding your force. Without understanding what force is. And the utilization of, um, of hydrogen X, okay? So, and you see that I can move it around, but I know because I, I have the apparatus instilled in me by the control that I can pretty much, you know, handle this. I know not to do this because, I mean, you know, or, you know, be careful with this because it's very sharp, you know. All of that is in, encased in the apparatus of threading a needle. I know it sounds funny, but that's the honest truth, okay? Now the control as part of it. Remember, one half here, one half here. Now, I got this apparatus. Now I know I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this down. And I know where to, even where you put it down at. All that is the apparatus, okay? Uh, I don't, I like green. I guess I'm gonna use this green, okay? I don't think I'm, I'll be able to do it with these contacts because I'm so used to Okay, see, threading a needle without my contacts, like I explained to you. So now I have the string. It's another apparatus that I form, that the control forms. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, you have to go back to the lessons, okay? So I have that, okay? Then I'm going to take this, and this is dance without music. You will see, once you get in precision, forget it. The movements that we will make is something else, okay? I cut it. This one is kind of big. I don't know what they use this needle for, but it shouldn't be hard for me <laughs> to do it. But I came across something else. Maybe if I put this here. Okay. Now, as soon as I look in here, okay, this hole, but this is not a hole, just like a long, elongated hole. That's the control. Don't concentrate it on too much. And don't because there's warnings and everything. It is very powerful. The control is very powerful, especially when it deals with the force. And the force, I'm telling you, with the force. And the force utilizes hydrogen X. And it seems like such a simple thing, but now you're getting into something that is kind of dangerous. I mean, for yourself, I mean, as far as this point is concerned because it is very powerful and that's why I use hydrogen X because it's that powerful okay because you can't play with it I mean I've done this thing since I was a little kid but one of my problem one of my I'm not saying benefits is that I can make corrections I can adjust if I do something that's wrong it only works one way things only once work one way if I make a, a mistake I know to back off and I know how to recover or recuperate because I've been doing it for so long but I'm doing it this way the lessons because you're not going to get in any danger whatsoever the only thing you have to do is um is follow directions very simple directions okay I mean we're talking about like you know the hydrogen bomb okay it's pretty much like that when it in turn when it's um when you relate it to yourself because you have a mechanism that's really really very beautiful and it's very powerful i mean we we can hurt ourselves by mistake you understand so that's kind of where i'm going to so that's why I'm showing you this way, this way, and you got to listen because it's very simple and there's no problems just as long as you follow directions. And it, but you have a lot of different uh, safeties. The, the mind has a lot of safeties. OK, so there are a lot of things you can't you can't even make a mistake on. But I'm just saying just follow directions and enjoy the lessons the way I tell you, because I've been through 
through all of the things. So now I'm going to put this through. And the reason why I was telling you that because I can see the control. The, con the control sets, sets up the mechanism. Just like this. I can see where it sets up. The, it has nothing to do with pretty much. It has to do, uh, if I can explain it a little bit. It works. It can work through the eye. It's like when you meet somebody, when you see someone that you that you love, okay, it's just a piercing. It just goes, it works so fast. It's something like that, okay? It's almost like you don't even see it. You just, it just happens. So I'm trying to explain to you this control. I guess I did it the best way I could. And, uh, and if you look at me, that's what I'm saying. I'm doing this. And I, and I, and I, um, how can I say, I set up, the control sets up the mechanism, okay? And this is part of the mechanism too. I know I'm not going to get this thing without my, without keeping my contacts on, because I can't, because I've always threaded needles without my contacts. So, that's the way we're going to do it, but I'm showing you this to do the mechanism, Okay. So now I'm going to, oh, there's one more point I want to say. They have this thing right here to help you. And I could do this without even seeing. But this right here to do the thread, the needle. But I'm going to tell you something about this, okay? That's, that's all you have to do is put, put it in there, which I'm sure I can do with my the regular way and this again is the um, the control it's actually the control is actually um, you can actually see the control you can interpret the control you can activate the control but like I'm saying you don't want to worry about that or do that like constantly do one after another because it's gonna it's going to affect you. I told you. It's dealing with something very powerful. So do it once, do it twice, and that's it. As an example, i got to go off this so you really understand how important it is. I was in a linguistic class, and I was overhearing the student talk to the professor. And he was saying um, how he tried to break up words. I mean, to me, you just go by, when you go to school, you go by the... Um, the curriculum. The curriculum is very important because it's from people who did everything and they're doing exactly what I do, what I what I'm doing. They make it easier for you. But of course you have people and I did it also because I did it I did not even know and I did it at a very young age. But he said that he took a word and he kept trying to split the word. Okay? I mean, we're talking about splitting the word in your mind, okay? But there's a lot of things that happen. So then he found, he said, when he got in the professor agreed with him because he got to a certain point to where it was almost like a, a something just like was freaking out. Something will freak out. So what I'm trying to say is that's why we have a curriculum because the curriculum safeguards you from things like that. But you have people like him, which a lot of people are like that. And it's not bad, just as long as you know that there's dangers. And he said he kept doing it, and then he found out that, he, that there was a problem, and he wanted to still do it, you know, splitting words. Like, for instance, if I said, but I started it since I was like, um, I started it since, like I said, my sister brought home a, 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 um, a book, a shorthand book, and it was like base. You know, you understand? I was studying words like base, ace, face. But I was doing it since I was a kid. I mean, you know what I mean? But he tried to do it and he never did it before. For And I did it for years and years. But he tried to do it and maybe he was splitting. Maybe he came to Ann and tried to hit split A and D. And, and if you keep doing that, that's kind of like a danger. Okay. I'm, that's the only thing I'm going to say. So I'm saying if I thread this needle, like I know not to do it like needle after needle, needle for like too long because there's a danger, 
okay? Because it's very powerful. Hydrogen X is very powerful, especially when you put it with the control. It has to be, it only works one way. I'm speaking about that a long way because I just want you to enjoy your life, enjoy the studying, okay? Don't get caught up in um, trying to do something by yourself. Okay, when you're in a curriculum, these people have went through all those things, just follow the curriculum. So anyway, anyway, I'm going to put this through here. Uh, I'm almost sure I could do it without my, okay. Uh, because, you know, I have these contacts on. Oh, okay, I didn't do it. I think I'm going to have to take off my contacts. It's going to make it easier for me. Mm. Now I'm going to check out this because then I can see it magnifying. Mm. Okay. Now I got my I'll be looking close. I'll be looking closer. You know, just saying that. Okay, so I see the thread. Okay, now I can see the thread, and it has like I can see fibers. Even if I cut it, like the weird thing is, I can cut it with the scissors. But okay, see, like I cut it that time because I was very careful, and it doesn't have fibers that that's coming out. Okay. So this one is the thing, I forgot what they call it, but it helps you thread the needle. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. So there, okay. I told you. I can see this because I have a mag, it's like a magnifying, because I used it since I was a kid with this magnifying thing, okay. But, okay, so you have that and it's already done. But the only thing about it is, is this thing has, it's not going to teach you anything by doing it this way because it has algorithms. Algorithms, as far as dance without music, this has at least a thousand algorithms. That means that somebody created it and you have to do this, do this to create this thing in order to make this thing. I know it sounds like outlandish, but... In order for me to, to do this and then put this in the needle, hmm. see, and then thread the needle. I, I, I don't, I didn't want to go through this, but okay, but. Okay, and thread the needle, okay. Okay, now the needle's thread just because of this. Okay, now I threaded the needle. I forgot the name of this. I can read it, but anyway, this thing, okay. I threaded the needle, not with the control, but now this is the control. The control uses this to form the apparatus of doing the needle. So instead of doing it yourself, this is the control uses this, okay? But the only thing about this is that this is um, at the mole, at the least, this is a thousand, this little thing has a thousand algorithms, meaning that it was developed, I mean, you know, you have to make this. You have to do this, you have to do that, you have to, it's an invention, but you have to do this, you have to do that, at least a thousand things for you to get to, to this thing, okay? So you're not going to learn anything too much, you're just going to use this, because the work is already done, okay? So, so now, if you understand that point, you can say, okay, well, I'm not going to make this thing. Then I'll just use this little wire thing, okay? Even if you just use the little wire thing, that's even more 
that's even more algorithms. Because then we're talking about what kind of metal, um, how you're going to bend it. So it's, so it's more than a thousand. So even if you just use that metal thing, the little thing down here to, 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 to thread the needle, it's still, it's more, more than a thousand algorithms. Because then you're dealing with, you got to do this, you got to do this. So in retrospect, this can't be 1,000. This has to be more than a 1,000 algorithms. It would have to be, wow, thousands of algorithms. Because I was saying if you just had this little pen right here to thread the needle. Well, this does have, this is the whole apparatus and it does have this. So that means this little thing, the, the control utilizes this to make the apparatus. But you need this. So that means that you're losing some information on that can help you because we want to do it without any apparatus. Okay, so now I threaded this needle, okay, with that, okay. So now we're going to go to, I don't know, I think I want to make um, another one. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to, oh, let's keep this since it's already done. Okay, so now we have this needle thread. Thread it. Oh, okay, yeah, we still have it threaded, okay? So that's, um, how can I say, um, that's uh, something A. That just is make that A, example A, or whatever. Okay, now we're going to go to another one. Now we're going to do it the way... Okay, so we have all of these needles. We did the one, the biggest one. Now I want to go through one... That is very little, but yet I know that it can be done. Uh, let's try this one. Okay, let's try this one. And like I said, it forms the apparatus. And this one is really, but I can see the control. If you're, but don't look for it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't look for the control. Just look for the hole and don't worry about it. But when you get to a certain state, you can pretty much know that the control is there and you can feel it, okay? Like, I can feel the control, I can see it, okay? C is use, a C, understand, or whatever, okay? I can see that control. I can use both one eye here, one eye there. And I can see the control because I've been working with it. I can see how the control is, I can just keep it there or else I can make the apparatus with the control, okay? So, for just here, we're gonna use, let's use a lighter color, blue. Okay, now, and then I could see the fibers on, on this one that would cause me, let me see if I cut it better. This is all apparatus. And I'm going to see if I could put it in which it seems like it's not going to go because, because it is, the, I can see that this hole, this, the um, string is much thicker than the hole, but I'm using the control, the control. Okay. Now I'm supposed to tell you about force. Okay. This one is about force. So I got the apparatus. So in order to use force, there's many things that have to be done. You have to understand the, the control. You have to form the apparatus. That's totally all this, this, all those lessons in dance about music will help you to understand what I'm talking about. 
So I formed the apparatus with the control. And then the apparatus is like this. Now the basic, the major thing why we have this is that I'm supposed to show you about the force. This is the force. So you need the control and you need, the control is setting up. Then as you set up, that little force trying to make it into in the hole is the actual force there's one thing i wanted to say i could want to bust the door down okay it's like like this i can make the apparatus to where i want to bust the door down but i'm taking that force and i'm changing it into threading a needle just like that, instantaneously, I changed my apparatus, okay? So my force is, okay, like this right here, there's a, a constant flow of, um, of hydrogen X, very little, okay? And it continually holds this. Then you have the other part of the apparatus that uses force and if you can see I have the force you can see the force that goes that's in here the force is in here so this is to show you the force I don't think I'm going to thread it I have to get a bigger one because I can see that the hole that you can't, that the, the, the thread is much larger than the um, hole here. Okay. Assume. But this is to show you the force. Now what I did is I have one of, I have a fiber that's coming out of, I can see the fiber that's coming out because I push up, I, I kind of like um, brought a fiber out. I can see the little droplets of uh, saliva that I tried to make that, you know, when I did that with my mouth. So uh, the fiber can fit in here. But this is the force. If you look at the movement, see like the fiber went in. Okay. So if you look at so if you look at this, you see the force. So it's force, direction, speed. But this right here, I want you to see just the force. And it made it through. Look at it. <laughs> God, I don't even think I made it through. But anyway, like I said, okay, so what I did was um, I used like the mechanism. The mechanism is intelligent. What I did is I knew that it, the thread could not fit through. So I, when I was like, because I can see the magnifying, like I said, I took the thread and I kind of like, brought out one of the the fibers okay and the fiber i also used like you know I, I like saliva i guess yeah it was saliva i don't want to say that but that's what it was and i made it a little bit like together you know what i mean i could even see the droplets and then the fiber went through and the um the the fiber that was extending from the actual thread went through and that made the the whole string go through and that's it but i wanted to show you that this is the force that's the force that little thing okay but you did have the direction and speed but that's you can't I, you can't really break them down but you can um for now i could i um I concentrated it so that you can see the force. So that's in 3C1. The next one, oh, it's going to be something else. 
3C2 is direction. It's, no, I don't say direction. This one was um, force, direction, speed. The next one is f force, direction, speed with the concentration on force. Okay, that was that one. The next one is going to be 3C2, which is direction. And we'll, I'm going, we're going to go out. I think it's our first time out. But we're going to go out and um, go to a labyrinth or a maze. And it's in a, the whole maze, which I want you to see, that it's in a vortex. Not vertex, but in a vortex. And we're going to go over the the force direction speed this one was force 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 direction speed that one's going to be force direction speed and then um three complete is going to be um uh speed i'm going to show you the speed so that ends that one i hope you enjoyed it and we're going it's is definitely dance it's definitely dance but you can see how complex and all the things that we've been missing because we're not able to interpret what our bodies were doing later on when we get in when we continue this you'll see that we'll be able to connect with what's happening around us and really enjoy our dance when we do dance and we're going to get into it but uh, we have to finish this um, 3C. And when we get in precision, of course, we'll get into more dance. But this is how everything is. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we just look forward to 3C2. Thank you very much. Bye.